In any programming language, computer programs can receive inputs, perform some function with those inputs, and deliver an output. First, let's look at basic output. A basic output is printing to screen. And in this example, we'll start with our traditional printing of the message Hello World. Take note here that the quotations can be either single or in this case double. Also bear in mind that any empty spaces either trailing the message or at the beginning of the message will also be printed to screen. Next, let's define a simple numerical variable and print its value to screen. And in this case, g equals 9.81. That's quite straightforward. Next, let us print a text message with the value to explain what it means. Notice here that the variable is separated from the text string by a comma. This is very important. Printing this to screen means that we can provide a nice useful message to describe the value of g. Next, let's also add a text string for the units of the value of g, and this will be meters per second squared. And again, we can separate this by using a comma after the variable g in the print statement. As you can see, print statements can be extended by adding more and more variables or strings, all separated by simple commas. In the next example, we'll define another numerical variable called c, and we'll make a print statement to print both values out with some text definition. Notice here that again, our variables are separated by a comma with the text strings in, within the print statement. Printing this overall to screen provides us a number for C, in this case, having many, many digits of precision. A key question when you provide an output is, can you specify the precision of the numbers? And also, besides printing the output to screen, can we also print the output to a file? And in some cases, this is much more efficient. The answer is yes. And this will be a topic for a future video. Next, let's look at basic input. The basic input for most programming languages is a user prompt. This is provided in Python by the function input. Within quotations, you can provide a message which prompts the user to reply using the keyboard. In this case, the message is, what is your name? And notice also that the empty space at the end of the message is also preserved. This obviously returns a string. Next, if we prompt for age, and if we check what type this input is assigned, it will also be assigned a string type. Obviously, in this case, we may want to do some numerical calculations with the age. So we want to check or evaluate the typed input. And Python has a function called evolve. And in this case, it will evaluate the input provided for age and correctly interpret it as an integer input. So age is, an, is now an integer. And if you want to do calculations using the variable age, that's no problem. So that's basic input and basic output. In a future video, we will look at advanced input and advanced output, which essentially prints values and reads values to files rather than the screen. To summarize our new functions in this video, comprise of the print statement, input, and evaluate. And finally, remember, as always, adding a question mark to the beginning or the end of the function name should give you its documentation or its help file to describe how to use those functions.